Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18 Developer Beta 7. Now, the beta has been out for a couple of days now, and I have a clear indication in regards to the battery, performance, some of the bugs that Apple has addressed with the latest iOS 18 Developer Beta 7, and I have some great news to finally share with you guys. Now, keep in mind that iOS 18 is set to be released mid to late September, so we're getting really close to the official release of iOS 18. And the first issue that was addressed with beta 7 according to your feedback and my experiences as well obviously so here in control center there was two issues reported number one there were some users reporting choppiness within scrolling through pages and adding new elements to control center i have to say that i haven't encountered any lag whatsoever on the latest ios 18 developer beta 7 and there was also an issue being reported where some of the elements within control center would completely disappear from your control center pages. And I have to say that I did encounter that issue once, but I haven't encountered that issue after updating to iOS 18 developer beta seven, which is great news. Now, something else that you guys always ask about is the RCS messaging. Now, Apple added RCS messages to iPhone, obviously within iOS 18. And it's been a bit buggy since the initial rollout with iOS 18 and beta two, I believe it was. So one thing to keep in mind is that RCS messages Messages also has to rely on your carrier to support it so if you're having issues with RCS your carrier may need to provide you with a carrier update in order to provide you with a better user experience when it comes to RCS but I do have to say within the latest beta all of my test devices have performed a lot better than before when communicating via RCS. So that's also obviously great news to share with you guys within the latest OS. Now, in terms of performance, I've been running this beta on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. As you can see here, the numbers look fantastic. So in terms of performance, I don't think we're gonna have any issues. iOS 18, as I mentioned, will soon be released by Apple. But one thing that was the main concern for most users, including myself, was battery life and i wanted to share the great news with you guys that i can finally get through my entire day with the battery life on ios 18 at developer beta 7. now not only do i say this you guys also say this on my youtube community poll i did ask How's the battery life for you guys? And looking at these initial votes here, it looks like most of you guys are having great battery life on iOS 18 developer beta seven, as you see a 47% there. We also have the option where you have okay battery life at 38% and then terrible battery life at 15%. And based on some of these comments here, it looks like most of you guys have seen improved battery life overall. And I have to say that I've seen improved battery life myself. You can always come back and vote on these YouTube community polls, but I have to say I'm happy to report that it looks like the battery life on iOS 18 developer beta seven is now good enough to at least get through your entire day. Now, in terms of release day, you guys always ask, when will Apple release iOS 18 officially to the general public? And honestly, no one really knows until Apple makes the official announcement, but I have, I think, a good idea when Apple may be releasing this software update. So taking a look at the month of September here, Apple is set to be holding an iPhone event on September the 10th. So if that was to happen, I believe iOS 18, the official final release, will most likely happen on September the 16th, which is a Monday, which is typically when Apple is to release a major update. It's happened many years, so we can expect perhaps another beta for iOS 18 or the RC, the release candidate during or after the event from the iPhone announcement, and then the official release mid to late September, my guess, September the 16th. But again, guys, great news overall. A lot of bug fixes. The software feels polished. It feels nice. A lot of the bugs have been addressed. And most importantly, battery life is now good enough to use as your primary device based on my experience and your feedback on those YouTube community polls. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.